boys and girls, it's the truck mom. Guess what we're gonna do today? Okay, I'm gonna give you one hint. What do you think? That's right, we're gonna check out fire trucks. I'm here at the Vernon Fire Department in Vernon, California with my cousin Matt, and he's gonna show us all the cool trucks. Engine 77 just is coming back from a call. Firefighter Matt is going to pull into the station and then he's going to teach us everything on the truck. We're going to go for a ride in the fire truck. Right now I'm wearing headgear. This protects the firefighter's ears from all the road noise, but it's also they use the microphones to communicate with each other. They can hear each other talk. And also that's how the dispatch tells them where to go and what fires to fight. Okay kids, uh, this is engine 77. The difference between a fire truck with the big ladder is the, the, they have the big ladder and lots of saws and they let the heat and smoke out through the roof. A fire engine like this here, actually carries all the hose so they'll hook up to the fire hydrants you see and they'll bring water to the fire and then they'll pump all the lines going to all the firefighters inside the burning building searching for for people and trying to put the fire out so this is four inch so this brings water to the fire engine and then this here is two and a half inch an inch and three quarter and those are called attack lines so those are the ones that we take inside to the fires when we do our primary searches and we look for people and we try to put the fires out firefighter matt's gonna hook up the hoses and show us how they work when we pull up to a fire and we need to get water to our fire engine we can get it one of two ways inside our engine right here we have a big tank of 500 gallons it's like a small swimming pool whoa 500 gallons it's a lot of water but if we need more a building was on fire, which we would need more, then we're going to hook up to the little fire hydrant that you see laying in your neighborhood. So what we're going to do now is hook up to the fire hydrant. This is called our intake. So this is where the water goes into the pump. And then what will happen is it goes into the pump, and then we'll hook into a discharge over here. And that's where a hose line, or you hook your hoses here, and it'll go ahead and flow water out to the firefighter. So I'm going to show you right now how we hook up the intake. All the soft suction right here. that the fire truck or the fire engine's on and I'll turn the pump on and we can squirt some water out of our booster line. I'll be right back. The person who drives drives the fire engine and he's also in charge of getting water to all the different firefighters. So you can see we have hose in different locations. We have two hoses here so all the hose in the back, we have hose up on top and in the front, and all these different levers, if I pull them, are going to send water to those different locations. So what we're going to do now is, because we're going to do the booster line on the other side, I'm going to go ahead and, and hit the real discharge right here, open that up, and I'm going to go over here and I'll show you how we swarm water. Here's the booster reel, so what we do is, here's the handle, when you're ready, you get ready, we the water, we can change the pattern. So when we go down the road, we have our lights and sirens, and what that does is it doesn't tell people that we have the right of way, it's asking and letting people know, hey, can we have the right of way? So if you're hurt, or your mom and dad, or somebody's sick, that we can get to them faster and help take care of them sooner. 
so what we have to do to turn our lights on is right here it's called the emergency master and when I hit that you'll see all these lights come on and that's turning all the lights on outside see all the different lights coming on he's pushing the buttons inside information and then he has his headset and all the radios that he can talk to all the other firefighters and dispatch and so when we go on a call he's the one who kind of gives us the orders and tells us what to do I'm the engineer I drive on the other side you saw my seat and then back here is where the firefighters ride and they get one here sometimes we could put three in there if we need to you can drop down and yeah the seat. they sit the seats down and then they get their turnouts on back in there and have their headsets so they can communicate with everybody. And what you can use these for is you uh, put them in, you can pry open doors and get into people's cars, uh, the doors in somebody's house, so if they're trapped inside, we can go in and get them if we need to. Whoa, look at all those different tools. So in this compartment, a lot of people think we just fight fires, but we also go on medical aid calls. So if somebody's having a heart attack or they fell down and scratched their leg or broke an ankle or a bone or got a bloody nose, we have all the equipment here, this is all medical gear that we take in with us here. And we can go ahead and go inside and help somebody out. Here's an AED. This actually goes on somebody's heart if they're having a heart attack and it'll, it'll restart their heart. This truck is called the HAZMAT truck. That stands for hazardous material. This truck will go out when there's any kind of chemical spill or an oil leak or even a truck fire to take care of the fumes and the chemicals. It's one big mobile command center. Here we go inside the mobile HAZMAT command center. Up the stairs. Come on in. So this is where we go ahead and we have a bunch of computers and stuff in here. You can see them on the counter and we have all of our different radios to talk to all the other fire departments and the computers help us figure out what chemicals we're dealing with or what kind of liquids or bad stuff that's out there that potentially could hurt us or the environment and like all the animals and fish. And you come back here and there's more computers. Wow. And then we have, look, iPads. Not to play video games and watch cartoons, but to help us look up stuff. And we have a bunch of other monitors and stuff inside of our compartments, and we can test chemicals and stuff here to make see if they're bad, the bad chemicals, and yeah, that might hurt somebody. It's like a full laboratory inside yes, here. Yes, it is. Here's where Matt will drive the hazmat truck. Another fireman or firewoman. We'll sit next to them as they go to the scene. This yellow tube is called a FIMO vent. It hooks up to the exhaust pipe of the fire truck and carries the exhaust fumes up and out of the station so all the firefighters can breathe better where they're getting ready to go out on the fires. What up the observation deck? They, if the firemen need to see way up high, they go up to the top of the observation deck to look out. This is called a level A suit. So when we go into areas that have hazardous materials, we'll put this on so that the hazardous materials won't get into our skin or our lungs or any other parts of our body and we can fix the problem or save people who are trapped in hazardous materials. So that big suit keeps you safe? Yep, keeps us safe from all the bad stuff in the air. Whoa. Okay, these are called our breathing apparatus. So what we do is we put these on our backs like you carry your uh, backpack to school. So it's the same kind of thing, but it's got air inside of it. So when we go into a fire or uh, area that's dangerous and real smoky, we can put these breathing apparatus on. I'll show you how they go on. So you put it on like this. 
then you go ahead and you have to put the waist strap on and doesn't this look familiar it looks just like the seat belt in your car so it's like a seat belt for safety you put that on and then when i'm all ready we're going to go ahead and make sure that i have air you hear it beep and then when we open this we click it to our mask i'll show you in a little bit i'll put my mask on it has air that comes out of it and then that gives us fresh air so we don't breathe the smoke and cough right now we're inside the fire station I'm looking at all their different cool trucks there's one two three and four fire trucks inside right now these trucks are here until they get called on their next fire or emergency. Vernon Fire Department also has an ambulance. They're going off on a call to help save people. Thank you so much for watching this episode of The Truck Mom. And a very, very, very special thank you to the Vernon Fire Department in Vernon, California, and especially to Firefighter Matt, who taught us so many cool things. Remember, if you want for more information, go to www.thetruckmom.com. And if you really love this episode, hit the subscribe button right below and ring the bell. Bye!